This is the first time that the Corps of Engineers has had to stand up and say, we had a catastrophic failure of one of our projects. The game's played by Congress. They tell the Corps what to do, and they give the Corps money to do it. The Corps beneficiaries then give money back to Congress so they can get reelected, and the machine just rolls. In essence, everybody remains on payroll. We've seen it happen. But we need to have the engineering community as a whole come together, as opposed to, right now, just a select few threatening the rest of us, saying, if you keep your mouth shut, if you do what we tell you to do, we'll make you rich. But if you open your mouth, you're out. We're putting the fox in charge of the hen house. We're putting the Corps of Engineers in charge of reviewing their own work. The way they make their money, so to speak, is they get a percentage override on all the projects. Some people have said it could be as high as 35% of a project. The Corps had been attacked repeatedly for cooking the books. They basically said, find a way to do this. And so I informed senior management that we could not find a way. And uh, their immediate response was to demote me and put an engineer in charge of the econ. Uh, the Corps of Engineers has installed pumps that their own engineers had said weren't appropriate uh, for the task. The pump supplier is politically and otherwise connected to uh, our president's brother, uh, Jeb Bush. Those pumps all work. Have any of the pumps fully tested at either one of those locations? Great question. The answer is no. The, the pumps, yeah, but your in-house memo says you knew they didn't work upon delivery. The, the Senate didn't want any information leaking out. And then he sent some email and said, uh, I'm going to be out of the office for the rest of eternity, and I'm being replaced by so-and-so, who is now your point of contact. And so we realized, OK, the cover-up has found us. The Bush administration is importing many of the contracting practices blamed for spending abuses in Iraq. I've asked many times whether the no-bid contracts that were handed out in the wake of the hurricanes have been terminated. They're like the mafia. They can do what they want. I don't trust my government. There are core projects all over the place, and if I had a tip for folks living next to a core project, it would be buy a life preserver, because it's not a matter of if you're going to need it with their projects, it's a matter of when. And I still sit here and listen to this bullshit about the economics of it. Yeah, we ask if people talk How many to people do you know that each other with some kind of respect? Please try to watch the language. You ought to be prosecuted for attempting murder. We're still paying attention. We understand. Please get the picture. You're all in trouble.